Welcome. Welcome to Railway Routes, not in Port Slade, but in lockdown. It's kind of the same with less kebab shops, and of course all sellotaped together by the wonderful Professor Roger Stevens, his staple gun and his rats. Uh, I'm going to start off with a song about another Thursday night, a Thursday night where my cousin Sarah's daughter Heather came with her friends to see uh, me play at the Islington Folk Club. And uh, it was eight, Heather's 18th birthday, and she wanted to spend a week experiencing life to the full. So that meant by Thursday she was reduced to coming to see me play in a folk club in Islington. But it, it, it caused great consternation in the pub because obviously it was a sort of pub that doesn't usually get uh, for drop dead gorgeous 18 year olds skipping merrily in clutching bottles of red wine and fags. The, pub, the, the club thought I'd become temporarily famous by I rapidly um, disabused them of that notion. A good night was had by you all. After a somewhat shaky start. The pub stops dead when you walk in. Darts hang in mid-air. You turn all heads as you cross the room. And dance right up the stairs. It's Thursday night at the Horseshoe. Ghosts all play guitars You and all your 18 years You and all your 18 years You with all your best songs yet to come Yeah, here we are with our old songs Songs of love and trains Good times coming, good times gone, yet to come again. Romeo and Juliet, candles in the rain. You and all your 18 years, you and all your 18 years, you with all your best songs yet to come. Here we are with all our scars Here we are still singing The darkness takes the morning star Here we are still singing As Romeo leaves Juliet but Juliet still sings You and all your 18 years you and all your 18 years You with all your best songs yet to come The clock and well, we said farewell Bid the moon good night At Farringdon we took the train One last box of light Thursday night at the horseshoe The ghosts all play guitars and You and all your 18 years You and all your 18 years You with all your best songs Yet to come Having said that, we've got some pretty good songs for you tonight, and poems, and photographs. I mean, why go anywhere else? Port Slade, even in lockdown, is the essential place to be on a Thursday night. Come to think of it, most nights of the week as well, apart from the kebab shops. So we've got poems from Rob Barrett, two songs from local legends Pog. Mr John Mason will be weaving one of his wonderful webs of words to catch our imagination and the breath at the back of our throats. Uh, Rob Cast from Worthing. Uh, oh, me and Arv, um, doing a song about Columbia, as you do. Um, Ian Rowland, 
12 string guitar. How, I have trouble keeping six strings in tune. How he manages 12 is just, just it's just alchemy. Um, the man who puts Paul Simon to shame in most respects, in fact, every respect, I'd say, um, Mike Reinstein, Andy Melrose, the genius that is Andy Melrose. So looking forward to that. And of course, um, stapling it all together, uh, doing all the clever bits and pulling all our strings and killing as many rats as he can. It's Roger Stevens. And here we read one of Ian's lovely poems. Uh, it was Ian's birthday recently. Happy birthday, Ian. Um, and Ian and Phil have been collaborating. Um, the, uh, the Tennyson of Worthing has been meeting up, presumably at an acceptable social distance, with the Doisneau of Bogner. So that's to look forward to, isn't it? Um, and our booked act tonight is Namara. I think Namara have been booked here twice before, and very few people who aren't called Leon Rosselson ever get to play here three times. Um, Namara are great. A duo, uh, they have a great sense of tradition, uh, and they know that folk music crosses frontiers and builds barricades um, to defend the progress of the people. So, um, everything to look forward to. There might even be a raffle. Get yourselves comfortable, um, settle down, and we're off! Hi everybody, good to be back. Thank you all for keeping the Roots Club going. Thank you Roger for putting the show together. This song's for Phil McCutcheon. Have you noticed how the future's not the same as it used to be? Still people crossing oceans on rickety old boats, looking for a better life. And wrap it in a bag You can play it when the baby cries And you're feeling sad But here we walk on eggshells Trying not to break Cause they don't want us here They don't want us here There's a boat on the water Leaving tonight I paid the captain We'll be leaving by moonlight It's a long way across the ocean Many nights at sea But we can make it, she said You and me We'll pack your mama's music box And wrap it in a bag you can play it when the baby cries and you're feeling sad But here we walk on eggshells Trying not to break Cause they don't want us here They don't want us here Say goodbye to the fortune teller to send the bad news away. Call your sister and tell her that we'll send for her someday. Cause there's a boat on the water leaving tonight, and they don't want us here. They don't want us here. They don't want us here. They don't want us here.
We'll pack your mama's music box and wrap it in a bag. You can play it when the baby cries. You're feeling sad, but here we walk on eggshells, trying not to break, 'cause they don't want us here. 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 No, they don't want us here. Good to be here, everybody. Stay safe, stay well. Hope to see you very, very, very soon indeed. Hi. This is a poem by Ian Salvage. It's called What to Do. How should we fill our lockdown days? How do we make time pass? Revisit the books that we read long ago? Find some new skill that it's useful to know, some new life dimension that we hope will last. Spend time in the garden, growing some crops, a timeless pursuit where everything stops. Mowing and pruning, I once thought a chore, never gave sufficient attention somehow, but though I've neglected the garden before, with time on my hands, I dig it now. I'm missing the rhythm that weekends once brought. When each day's the same, you start losing track. This long isolation just goes to show the rich life we had when you start looking back. So thanks to the guys doing virtual shows, we'll meet up again. Remember, all things must pass. Take time to examine what matters right now. It's friendship and family and music that lasts. Hello, I'm Rob Cast. Um, I've been um, watching uh, the Roots Nights for the last couple of months, really enjoyed them, and uh, I thought I'd do a song. and. Um, this one's called The Lockdown Makes Me Strange, hence what I'm doing in the garden. And um, it used to be called Jasmine Thinks I'm Strange, and it's a cover by Danny McAvoy. And he's a guy that I stumbled across on YouTube who um, runs an open mic over at New Haven. And uh, I asked him if I could change the lyrics to make it uh, lockdown friendly, so that's what I've done. So I uh, hope you like it. like I go round the bend lost my freedom and my friends the screw has just come loose again the lockdown makes me strange let's go bananas take a bunch I just can't go out for lunch that's okay but here's the crunch the lockdown makes me strange running running round again I plummet to the ground again and the lockdown makes me strange me strange Just gone out for a cycle ride It's the loneliness that I can't hide Half big fruit cake I'm out of line The lockdown makes me strange The lights are on but we're always home Lost my senses I'm on my own Always bloody on my phone. The lock 
down looks me strange Running, running round again I plummet to the ground again The lockdown makes me strange The lockdown makes me strange Fed up with the same old meal Here's half a card pack you can deal Something's wrong, nothing's real Lockdown makes me strange I suppose it's cause I'm strange Maybe I am strange Thank you uh, So, enjoy the rest of the evening and stay safe Thanks very much, bye Hello, uh, my name's Ian Rowland This song's called The Valley And it's from our new album called Double Rainbow This is it you said to me Need I let our dreams be free? Walking through the valley Walking through the valley In the end we know so well we can be Like heaven on our head Walking through the valley Walking through the valley Put our best wishes inside And watch the blue float up and glide Where we will exist forever safe from the abyss Walking through the valley, walking through the valley And float away with you Above this place So heartless and cruel I Take a deep breath through my find a new way to stay alive Walking through the valley, walking through the valley In the end we know so well we can be like heaven on our head Walking through the valley, walking through the valley Put our best wishes inside and watch the blue Float up and glide With all our hopes Immortalized Walking through the valley Walking through the valley And float To win I want to hold you I want to hold you Hi, my name's John Mason and I am a storyteller, so I'm going to tell a story for you today. When I asked my kids what I should tell them, my son Bevan said, something that means a lot to you. And I thought, and this time of year, when I was young, we always used to go and visit my Uncle Phil and my Aunt Lynn in North Wales. It's my Uncle Phil's birthday on the 2nd of, Jan of June. <laughs> 
dune that we are in. So here's a story from where they live in North Wales. In the small scattered hamlet of Llanbrothen, they say that once upon a time there was a young man who, like many young people from that day to this, just went out in the morning and worked all day and came back home. If he had any dreams, I don't know what they were. But one day, when he was working on the fields, where the green slopes tumble down from the hills around Slamvrothen, out from the oak woods that stretch all the way up the hillsides. And he spotted in among the bracken and the hanging leaves, there was a face, a face looking at him, sharp eyes staring back. But as he looked, then the face disappeared and the figure rushed back off into the woodlands. But it came back again the next day, it came a bit closer. And again the day after that, and he tried not to be hasty at all. He just kept his eye on his work and stole the occasional glance. And he could tell from the wild, thick red hair and the long nose and long face and the effortless grace by which this young woman made her way through the undergrowth. That she must be one of the fairy folk that lived out in the woods and the hills. Over time, they each got a bit bolder. She came to spend a bit more time there, sitting on the wall at the edge of the field. And they would talk. And it wasn't long before they admitted how much they'd fallen in love. And so he said to her, please don't go back into the woods this evening. Come, live with me. Let us be married and we can make a life together in my stone cottage by the edge of the stream. She said, no. My parents would never allow me to leave our world, come and live with a mortal here in this one. But they were so much in love, and he begged her so that she went to ask. He watched as she walked back off into the bracken and the oak woods, and then he saw doors open in the side of the hill. She walked inside, and it was a long, long night's waiting for him. But when she came back the next day, she said that her parents had agreed and she could marry him, but only if she never touched iron. Iron, one of those things that the fairy folk cannot abide the presence of. Iron. Some stories also say salt, some even say buttons or straw from the fields. But all these things are things by which we define and control our existence, by which we like to think that we are in charge of our destiny and need not fear any of the uncertainty from their world beyond the fields and the garden wall. But they thought, well, can she avoid the touch of iron? I'm sure we can find a way. Together with our two brains, we can come up with all sorts of ways so that you never have to touch iron and you can stay here in this life with me forever. And that's what they did. They made sure that no tool she touched was ever made of iron. They kept her safely away from anything that she might pass. And they had a good life, a long life together, in that little cottage by the stream. And they had children, lots of little children. But one day, while those children were still young, then she went with her husband, riding, out along the beach at Penryn Daedreth. And I think it must be a beach that isn't there now, because on the side of the hills where Slanvrothen is, where Penryn Daedreth, just borders the farmland, which was once the great wide estuary that has since been blocked and silted up and turned over to fields. But they were riding there on the sand under the clear sky. And her horse stumbled. And her reins and bridle and, and bit and, and stirrups and everything were all fitted out with brass. But when 
she got down off her horse to climb up behind his, which was still uninjured and healthy. And then her ankle brushed the iron on his stirrup. And she felt the cold, hard touch and she froze and she gasped. And he knew what had happened. And he begged her, please, don't go, don't go back. We have a life here. We have each other. We can make it work. But she just shook her head. She knew that once the rule was broken, she must go back to her fairy people. But her husband, his heart breaking just as hard as hers, he begged her, think of our children. Think of the life you can have with them. You cannot leave them. And her heart broke even wider. But the story tells us that all she said was, may they have red hair and long noses. And then she vanished. Back to her world in the woods and the hills. But they also say, in later stories, from all around that coast of North Wales, that there were people who became noted for their red hair and their long noses. And so maybe the blood of the fairies is with us still. Thank you. Hi. So we're living in a house uh, sort of tumble down old cottage out in the middle of nowhere in France. And if you've ever lived in the country, you may be f familiar with this problem. That is rats. We have an infestation of rats. So I thought I would write a song about it. It's called, We've Got to Get Rid of the Rats. <laughs> There's more than a little falling down The cesspit is a challenge, there's a crack in the barn But that's not causing us too much alarm The situation's getting serious Gonna have to send in a herd of cats Something has got to be done because we got rats, we gotta get rid of the rats, we gotta get rid of the rats, they gotta get rid of the rats, they gotta go, that's the chorus, so you could join in. They gotta get rid of the rats, we gotta get rid of the rats, we gotta get rid of the rats, they gotta go. Number one, they burst your ball in the park. They break into your kitchen and steal your food and they plans, devious plans in the dark. Yeah, we gotta get rid of the rats. We gotta get rid of the rats. Yes, we gotta get rid of the rats. They gotta go. persuade them to leave, you know, I don't want to have to put them down because I think that, you know, rats, they're a kind of wildlife, you know, just get on with their own business, it's not up to us, is it, too? just don't want them around. Economy's a challenge, there's a crack in the wall Through which the poor and the vulnerable fall And the situation's getting really serious 
You only have to read the stats Certain something's gotta be done Cause the country's being run by rats And we gotta get rid of the rats, everyone We gotta get rid of the rats We gotta get rid of the rats They gotta go What do rats do to them? What do, what do rats do to their friends? They rat them, don't they? That's what rats do. We need a rat trap. Not a boomtown rat trap. No. No. And uh, the rat pack, remember them? They sung songs. Hung around with the mafia. No, these rats that are running the place right now are far worse. Oh, yeah. They're vicious. Vicious rats. They give rats. Bad name, that nasty rat. There's the gold rat, and there's a the coming rat. There's the Hancock rat. There's the pretty potato rat, and the worst rat of all. What is the coming rat? Yeah, the worst rat of all. It's the Johnson rat. We need the rat. Yeah. Maybe it would be a kindness to put them down. I don't know. You decide. Cause we gotta get rid of the rats. We gotta get rid of the rats. We gotta get rid of the rats. They gotta go. Oh, well, we gotta get rid of the rats. We gotta get rid of the rats. We gotta get rid of the rats. They gotta go. Hello. A few days ago, Facebook tagged a picture of Boris Johnson as me, Rob Barrett, which is very upsetting. So I wrote this. It's called Facebook Thinks I'm Boris Johnson. Facebook thinks I'm Boris Johnson. No, I'm not. What's he blathering on about now? He forgot. Facial recognition has me down as a privileged blonde buffoon. Dyed hair. Stooping as he repeats his sound bites and catchphrases, trying to sound like Churchill. Does he care? No. I got tagged as an old Etonian born in America. I'm from the Midlands. He's a famous overprivileged megalomaniac. Worth millions. There's online confusion that I'm the Prime Minister. I'm more sprightly. Has he ever been to Dudley? Unlikely. I could be a double for a Bullington Club bully. At PMQs, the World King waffling at Westminster. What's there to lose? Apart from my self-respect, of course. I could avoid answering questions and spout meaningless statistics. In the house. Show off my apparent knowledge of private school acquired Greek and Latin linguistics. To my spouse. To be. I could stand in front of a big red bus claiming we sent £350 million a week to the EU and lie. I could blame everything on Europe and get Brexit done. Why? I could ignore the current scientific advice and make a big thing about refusing to stop shaking hands with everyone I met and get infected. Go down with the coronavirus and end up in an intensive care unit on oxygen and emerge as some kind of pseudo-war hero to get respected. Oh dear, modern technology has me down as Boris Johnson, father of many. What's this filthy rich man's thoughts worth? Not a penny. Yes, Facebook thinks Boris Johnson is me. An error. I'm Rob Barrett, and I'm better, I think. Thank you. Well, he was just another monster, proud of what he did. Blood stains on his poor shoes from killing poor street kids. I asked my friend on Vito how come I only ever hear bad news from Colombia. He says, man, it's all fucked here. Yeah. Cause if you join the army, you can kill all the kids you like. So long as all the gringos get all the deals they like. There's kids down here.
die anyway. Everything that grows goes in some gringo's belly or up some gringo's nose. No justice. No peace. Break time, time for a break. Um, get yourself a drink, um, get yourself a um, glass of wine, cup of tea, cup of coffee, whatever you, whatever you fancy. You can pause the computer, whatever it is you're watching this on. Get yourself, give yourself a stretch. Cheers. It'd be great when we all meet up again, won't it? Very good help. Oh, that's pretty good so far, right? Um, but after that's a, oh yeah. Oh god, yeah, yeah, later. All right. Uh, oh, hello, Nina. Uh, maybe next month. God.
Where's the toilet? Uh, oh, bloody hell, this thing's still on. Go away. Half timer. Oh, that's great because we're just going over to the merch tent. Here we go. Look at that. Authentic CDs. Mike Weinstein, there's a Roger Stevens, there's a couple of Rob Johnsons here. I've only got one ordinary giant. I could maybe get parts two and three, but they're hard to get a hold of. No boxes, I'm afraid, because I nicked them at Portslade Railway Roots Club. I slipped them out the boxes into my pocket and off I went with them. Five or each. I'll send them to you. Just send me your address with a five pound note and they're yours. Hello. Uh, I hope you're all enjoying the evening. I know we will be. And uh, we've been asked just to say hello to all you Roots people from Wales. This is our new edition, a uh, pygmy goat called Faith. And i um, just like to say thank you for Roger for keeping the Roots Club going and for Rob for booking all the fantastic guests that we've seen over the years going right back. Uh, you want to say something? I just want to say thank you again to Roger. Um, and uh, we do miss you all and uh, we hope you're having a, a reasonable time in this uh, lockdown period. And uh, well, we hope to see you at some point in the future. Okay, see you later. Bye. Bye. Hello everybody. Hello everyone. The railway routes at the railway inn. It is a place where we would sing. So now at home we don't moan or whine. We'll entertain you all online. Cheers. Stay safe. Lots of love, and we miss you all. Bye! Hi, it's raffle time. Now, technology is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? We can beam this out to you wherever you are. It's been such a help by the pandemic's been going on. Uh, here's Jill, she's gonna help me with the raffle. But we've got, it's sort of techni technologically related, really. We've got the most amazing prize we've ever had in a Roots raffle before. Now you probably know that uh, Bob Dylan is doing this big final concert. Have you, you, have you heard? He's doing this big final concert for his 90th birthday. It's gonna be the, the, actually the end of the never ending tour. And we've got two tickets for this concert. Not only is it his final concert, but he's doing it from the moon. Yes, he will be going to the moon with about 30 other people for the big, big final end of his career concert. And we've got two tickets. So we put everybody who's on the Roots Facebook page, there's about 70 or 80 of you, you're all in this hat. So any one of you could win this trip of a lifetime, okay? So any one of you could win it. So Jill here is going to, to draw it, off we go. And the winner is Wow. <laughs> what a prize. Fantastic. Fantastic, you, wonderful. You're wow. gonna love that. So it's there we are. Time. Best prize we've ever had. So back to the music. Good evening, so here we are. In the uh, the lovely environs of Hollywood Road Golf Course. If this was a normal folk club, would be some over there. But we're taking this one on the chin for you. We're in this miserable place, this miserable evening, playing miserable songs. This one's called Home Movies. One, two, three, four. <laughs> me all week. We'll never watch replays of what we do every day. Routines crumble much like old empires, and you will spin around their roots. Now what we thought was Monday now burns with a new 
plain So kick your shoes off on the climb You and I have captured time Caught it in its prime Plug these into weary minds We start the days Ways. Each camera pan blows away more decades of sand. So let's both cast the track and wide. See what came down for the ride. Memories that we hide. Trapped between the rocks and tide. Release the days. Again familiar There's magic in the everyday See you speak, see you Move here to prove right by you And I'm glad you took time Cash these moments in their pride Dim lights for wine Clock leads into weary minds Kickstart the days And thank you! <laughs> there should be more gigs on golf courses, it's quite liberating being able to do this. <laughs> this is actually, the last time we actually played properly was in Worthing and it was horrible and depressing and cold. This is so much nicer and actually there's more people here. <laughs> so uh, Lido next then. So this next one is about our love of outdoor swimming pools, it's called Lido. One, two, three, four. sun, come cloud, wind or pouring rain, days just skip and skim, mottled by the goosebump skins as they break the surface. We'd find a diary of delights Oh, what a postcard that would be 
so come what's bread on these walls will stand you can etch the lines of time history intertwines throughout the light throughout the light so come hate Dark times will need water, kiss by sunlight, never more so. So we take the plunge. Now the men have gone and the women work. On our backs through sun kissed eyes, we watch as the Lights fly by, silence by the water in our ears. So come on, bring it on, this water boys us up. You can drown a world of tears, nowhere any more than here at the light of I grew up knowing what's right and what's wrong. My parents told me, don't steal and don't lie. If you are fair with the people you meet, then generally speaking, you know you'll get by. But as I grew older, I noticed a change. The values I grew up believing seemed lost. With people deceiving for personal gain, and leaving our weakest to count up the cost. If you wouldn't give your granny what these people have to bear, don't expect us to stand by and just look on. It's in our blood to demonstrate to the world we care. If we can see that what you do is wrong, we will march and we will gather. We will hold you to account. We will meet all the resistance that you attempt to mount. Though some of us may fall away, the movement will go on. We will strive for truth and justice 
until the fight is won. Hello, this is uh, Rob Johnson number and it's called Mon Martre. Day they close the borders Day they close the borders The day they close the borders The day they stop the trains Two doors down from here Is where the remote first met the lane and there's a picture of him looking very bowy on the wall. It's a hot night in Montmartre, and the rain refused to fall. a party on the balcony all Saturday night long and they drunk their way through the Beaujolais and all that midnight song they were dancing without music when the sun rose after all it was a hot night in Montmartre and the rain refused to fall Stupid islands, I come from stupid town. The winds run up to haunt us, and they howl the whole night down. The Amelia let's go. What's the social progress for? It was a hot night in Montmartre, and the rain refused to fall.
Thank you. I wrote this song after reading a book by Susan Walfit about a brave group of women who worked narrowboats during the Second World War. They were nicknamed the Idle Women, although they were anything but...
I wrote this song a couple of months before the virus hit. Um, I wrote it at a different time for a different set of circumstances. But the words seem strangely appropriate for these days. We're all at sea Having travelled far No harbour light No safe return What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Thursday night it's been so far. And now it's our booked artists. Uh, Namara, as I said earlier, um, they're a duo and they have a great sense of how folk music, uh, it draws on traditions and it crosses frontiers, it crosses borders, and it always stands up for the rights of the people. Uh, it's folk music. Folk music owes no allegiance to the court, owes no allegiance to the corporation. Uh, el pueblo unido jamás será vencido. Uh, I give you from the from the magic of the internet all the way from their homes to yours Namara Hi to everyone at Roots Folk Club my name is Paul Matt Namara I'm one half of the Namara folk duo the other half is of course Rob Garcia we're really sad not to be with you this coming Thursday June the 4th and we very much hope to be at the wonderful Roots Folk Club in 2021 Meanwhile, probably the best we can do is play you a couple of videos taken at the launch gig for our most recent CD, Sisters and Brothers. The first video is the title track, Sisters and Brothers, and it's really it's a call to folk singers generally to remember their geography as well as their history when they sing about worker exploitation. And the second song is another one of our own compositions, The Siren's Call, and it really tells the tale of gambling addiction and its effects on modern day families. So we hope you find the videos interesting and we very much look forward to seeing you in 2021. Keep well and we'll see you then. All best wishes, bye. Wish will swamp that barely was dry. Corporation. 
good stooges they turn the blind eye to the death trap that you reach to the sky. They will dip me on the lights in the heat of the day. Those sewing machines they clatter away. Three thousand dollars a day. Make it vicious.
And I thought that we never would part For our ship has lost its bearings And the waves lie all around And the sirens, they are calling Creativity 
Uh, and again, thank you to Roger for taking on the Herculean task of not only killing all the rats in his part of France, but also in his spare time, stapling this together with rat glue. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for coming. Don't forget, take your glasses to the bar, safe home for bed, and uh, out. And um, we'll hope to see you next month because next month, next month we've got uh, next month we've got Anne Lister, and I suspect that we'll be in a lockdown situation again. So, so maybe you could get the uh, get, get 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 your kebabs ordered in now. And don't forget, take care of yourselves because you wouldn't want to give Boris the satisfaction of dying, would you? Social distancing. No! Sorry.